don't adjust your dial because we are still streaming Jurassic World Evolution 2. There is a YouTube issue with the thumbnail for the stream, but I posted the, the link and the correct thumbnail is appearing in Discord. So yeah, we're doing Jurassic World Evolution 2 today on the channel. So yeah, Yuji, Belfast, how's it going guys? So yeah, I noticed it too. So last night before I went to bed, I, I set up the YouTube studio for today's stream, you know, after noticing that the uh, poll was going favorably for Jurassic World Evolution 2, Build and Chill Stream 2, which we're doing today. I even changed the thumbnail last night. But for some reason on YouTube, it's showing Sea of Thieves from last weekend. I don't know why. It's a YouTube issue. But as excited I am for playing Sea of Thieves coming up, what, Thursday when the Early Access launches, we're not doing Sea of Thieves today. So please disregard the thumbnail. That is a YouTube issue. That is not a problem on my end because the correct the correct thumbnail is appearing in Discord and I did put the correct thumbnail in YouTube Studio <laughs> but whatever YouTube welcome everyone uh, snake what's up snake yeah I don't know what's going on with that I really don't because I, I I didn't just do it five seconds ago I did it last night before bed and I even re-added that thumbnail again a few minutes ago. I just re-added it. So whatever. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure the topic will come up a few times. But yeah. I do appreciate y'all being here today. So what we're gonna do is just another chill stream. We're gonna just chat, have a good time. I'm gonna build a park and you're all gonna participate, those of you that want to participate. I already uh, decided on the map. We're going to do the San Diego map, but you're all going to have a lot of uh, involvement in how the, bar the park's built, uh, what type of dinosaurs we put into the park, and I'm even going to name dinosaurs after those of you that want a dinosaur named after you. So the thumbnail's good now. Okay, I'll, I'll double check it in a minute. Your uh, grandmother passed away today, Tommy? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, Tommy. That is, that is really sad. And uh, my thoughts obviously are with you, Tommy. It, it's sad to lose uh, parents, our grandparents. Unfortunately, all my grandparents are, well, and my parents, they're all gone now. But hopefully you have uh, plenty of cherished memories to hold on to, Tommy, of your grandma. And you have knowledge and solace in the fact that part of your grandma will always be with you. So, yeah, going back to Jurassic World Evolution 2, I already got that part set up so we don't have to troubleshoot about, like, the settings or which map we're going to use. I already decided that. I already decided. But we're good to go on that. And uh, you get to have fun and help me build a park, for better or worse. And you all get a chance to have a dinosaur named after you. And you get to pick the dinosaur you want. So th this may not go well. <laughs> But we'll we'll see. So think about what kind of dinosaur you want to have named after you. And if, if it dies, it dies. You know, that that's that's not on me. But I do appreciate y'all being here. My amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes for April 2024, as well as all the members. And if you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. Unique badges, emojis, all members get shout out at the beginning of live streams, included below in the description section of live streams. Early access to a video a week. You also get included in the about section of the channel. And there's obviously other benefits depending on what tier you get. Elite, deluxe, junior members. You get the idea. But uh, yeah, if you want to check out the uh, about section, not only does it have a list of all the members, it also has links to Discord as well as the vlogs channel. The elite members include Belfast Gamer, UG Outlaw. Both of them are in the chat. Latino Bunny, Fat Chinese Gaming, Angry Veteran Forge, Deluxe Members, Azulin, ACG, Red the 8-Bit Dinosaur, Dark Matter Wolf, Junior Members, Tokyo Tent, Hutch Plays, Brett, Kane, Icarus, Fernando Martinez, Tyler98735, Tommy Angelo Jr., also in the chat, 
Sinistar, Eric Bell, Fluffy Wolf, and the gifted memberships. I believe their gifted memberships for most of them are about to expire. But yeah, thanks to uh, those of you that did put out the gifted memberships. That was very much appreciated. Most of these came from the uh, 10th anniversary stream last month. So the gifted members are Mr. Grumpy Wombat, Lewis, Sinister, John Law, Snake, Proton Jack, UK Gamer, Number One Pinhead, Aaron, Stellar, RR, Miss Kentucky Girl, Chantel, 1070, Ghost Dragon 270, JM58, Jeremy's World, Izuku, Mr. Tay Daniel, Anne's Human, Jose Melendez, Maddie, Ben, King Easy, Kari, Vinge, Bob, and Roasty. Gifted members, junior members, deluxe members, elite members, and April 2024 Super Chat heroes going above and beyond for the GB Nation. Let me look at this real quick. All right, the correct thumbnail is actually working now. So thanks, YouTube. Thanks. T-Rex, please. What, what a surprise. Yuji wants to be a T-Rex. All right, fine. You get dibs on the first T-Rex, Yuji. But I would ask that that all of you that wants a dinosaur named after you, try to make it unique. Because <laughs> last thing we need is a whole bunch of T-Rexes running around. All right. So I named the park as well. And uh, I'll, I'll show you really quick the map that we're going to use. I feel like this, this will be a time saver just to go ahead and do all this. So here's the San Diego map. As you can tell, we have San Diego in the background. And we got some Ocean View property. So I thought this would be a good map for us to do today for our build and chill stream. So here's the question I have for all of you. Do you guys want a standard park? Or do you want more like an, an open range safari style park? You want a Gallimimus? Okay, Snake, I'll get you a Gallimimus. Now, now, if it's a safari style park, there's a very real possibility that Yuji's T-Rex might end up eating Snake's uh, Gallimimus, but it really depends on what y'all want. Do y'all want me to divide it up like between herbivores and carnivores? Do you want it all like safari style or do you want it like paddocks where we have paddocks based off of species or compatible species? Let me know what you guys want in the live chat while I set up the basic stuff. So we need the basics, the uh, operations. We'll go with the, uh, the arrival point from, uh, from Jurassic, the Jurassic Park one. So we're going to put this here. And eventually I'm going to switch, switch it from unlimited. But for now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it unlimited until we get the basic stuff put up. So we got the arrival point. We need some power. So we'll go ahead and build some uh, large power stations. Usually two works. Question is, do I just want to build them over here? I mean, I, I kind of like having them out of the way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So maybe I'll just put it right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, we're just doing this for fun. Fun, fun chill stream for about an, about two hours, maybe two, two and a half. Because then Riley and I are going uh, on a little adventure because today is our three year anniversary. So we're going to go... We're going to go somewhere for our three-year anniversary. So I'm going to do that later. But for a couple hours, we'll hang out. We'll chill. We'll talk about whatever's on y'all's mind. And we'll, we'll build a park together. Darland, San Diego. Short for Dinosaurs Are Real. All right. Is it too close? Okay. I like to get them as close as possible. I know this is a large map we're using. But uh, I like to kind of get these close. Come on. Uh, that'll work. Fuck it. All right. Let me connect those. Okay. So now let me build the uh, roads real quick. All right. No. So we'll just create a straight line real quick right here. Does that look straight? Kind of straight? Yeah, I guess. All right. We'll connect these to uh, the road. And we're also going to need a substation. You need at least one substation, which is kind of annoying. But uh, then after that, I'll just use, uh, I guess I can build the substation. That way I can at least cover a pretty decent amount. I guess, 
Maybe I'll put it like right here. And then after that, I'm just going to use repeaters. Because repeaters don't require the pylons. All right, so that's a good starting point. Paddocks are more expensive, awesome, more viable to keep the animals healthy. Well, I mean, it's up to y'all. I mean, let me see what y'all want. Open case safari for the win. A grogosaurus, what? What what is a I don't think we have a Grogosaurus Belfast. We'll look in a minute and see. You'll look at your options in a minute if you don't know exactly what you want. Uh yeah, thanks guys for the uh, congrats. Yep, 3 years ago I met Riley in real life for the first time at the airport back in Louisiana. So that's why today is technically our 3 year anniversary. All right, so we got power station. We need we need at least one hatchery. I think one will be good enough. So I guess I'll, I'll set the hatchery here. And then I can build up the gate. Um, yeah, I guess we can build it right there. All right. Yeah, we'll just do it here. This is not going to be the prettiest part because it's kind of a, I guess you can say, kind of a, a rush build. All right, so do y'all want, um, for, for the fencing, do you guys want the standard Jurassic Park fencing? Or do you want uh, the biosyn fencing, where it's all nice and clear? So which one do you want, uh, Jurassic Park or biosyn for the fence? Because I'll show you guys real quick. This is this is the Jurassic Park fencing, right? And let's go back and show you the, the biosyn. This one's the strongest fence, but it, it obviously doesn't really look like a fence. But I guess it's kind of, it's it's prettier because it's it offers better viewing. But which one would y'all rather have? Uh, Jurassic Park or Biosyn? Let me know. Then that decides which direction we go with the uh, style of the uh, hatchery. But at the moment, let's uh, look at our options. So we're going to want at least one T-Rex for UG. So let's go ahead and fix its biome. It's a genome. All right. See, we'll, we'll keep these. The, the health is what I mainly focus on when it comes to the dinosaurs. Is I try to at least get their health somewhat normal. And then we're going to randomize the uh, skin and pattern colors. And then we'll save that. Okay, so we got that ready. I guess we could just go with like... Um, since you guys are not going to tell me what you want. I'll just do Biosyn. Screw it. That way this is, almost, this is all but impenetrable. All right, come on, back it up, back it up. Okay, all right, I'll fix that later. I'm just one step at a time. I also got to create a little bit of a... All right, so we're going to go with open safari, okay? So what could possibly go wrong, right? So if we're going to do that, we might as well just... Um... Should I just go all the way down the line? Or maybe we'll just start here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of which one. Are you th are you thinking about the gig? Is the gig the one you're thinking about? Just give me a second, Belfast. I'll I'll pull it up because I think that's the one you're talking about. The one that looks kind of like Godzilla. Was it was it the one that was in Dominion? All right. Why would you want to look like the 1988 Godzilla? It's like Godzilla in name only. All right, we'll start with like half the, maybe I'll just put carnivores over here and herbivores in the other paddock. All right. So what's everybody up to this weekend? Yeah, I'm just building this thing out. There we go. <laughs> Takes a quick minute. We're going crazy. This, this is why you start off Sandbox Unlimited. That way you don't waste all your money just doing this. We're not going to keep it on limited. Once we got the basic set up, then we'll, then we'll get going. See, this is a large ass park. <laughs> Maybe it's too large. What do y'all think? Holy shit. Okay, we're almost at the edge. <laughs> okay. All right. So there we, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right. 
I think I think I'm not gonna worry. I think I'm just gonna put a line. We're just gonna be kind of lazy here. I don't. I don't know if I. To be honest, I don't even know if I like this. I'm not really. I'm not really feeling this. To be honest, this part. I should have just gone down here. Maybe I built this too fast. Okay, but anyways, let's just do this. All right, so we're gonna build a. a all right, so um, let's see. Uh, where is it? Where's the gig at? All right, uh, no, okay. I think this is the one you, let's go to this one real quick, Belfast. Okay, so Belfast, now I know it doesn't look, all right, is this the one you want? Name the next dinosaur, Abigail. We might name one Abigail. All right, so is this the one you want? This, the gig? Barney Angelo Jr., okay. So I'm guessing this is the one that that Belfast wants. Maybe. All right, so maybe this one, Belfast. All right, just look at that real quick. And yeah, you want the gig, okay. So we want one, we want one T-Rex, and then we want one gig. And let me go ahead and uh, add additional bays and speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so we got that. I may I may adjust this a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's like I'm trying to make this work. All right, so obviously we're not worried about it taking forever. All right, so which one do we want? We're just going to do one. Um, Antisocial, aggressive. Let's just go, we'll see, what does this one got? Prefers to sleep. As a strong attack. Okay, we'll just do we'll do that one. Alright, and then aggressive, aggressive. Okay. We'll do this one for the gig. So we'll do one gig, one T-Rex. But they're gonna need some water. See, I, I don't know if I like this whole like building it down like this. It's kinda silly. I'm also debating about whether or not to put them in separate paddocks. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I like this. I'm gonna delete this part. Yeah, let's just get rid of this. This is gonna take 500 years to do it. I wish you could just like highlight the whole damn thing and just completely scrap it. I think I'm just gonna go with more of an open safari style. We are gonna have to add some water and some basic stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put. Uh, UG and uh, Bel Belfast in separate parts of the park. And then in between them, we'll put some other dinosaurs. But this didn't work. This this was a bad idea. Okay. There. There. Okay. So we're just going to go and... We're just going to build it down the line. Okay. Let's just do this. All right. There we go. Then I'll then I'll add like vegetation and other things to the park as needed. But right now I'm just putting the paddock up. Well, this this biosyn fence. Ah, oh, fuck me! God damn it! I hate it whenever I do that. Because I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. Alright. So we have a gig ready. We have a spinal. Oh yeah, we need some uh, Gallimimuses. And we're going to name one of the Gallimimuses after a uh, snake. And I think we... I think we're just going to do like a predators like... Ah, fuck, God damn it! not again. Alright. Uh, that'd be fine for now. Okay, let's do that for now. Put a Stegosaurus and Hadrosaurus. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to release the T-Rex and the gig in different parts of the park. But we also need some Gallimimuses, so let's scroll down to Gallimimuses real quick. Because Snakers wanted at least one wanted a Gallimimus named after him. 
No promises, Snakers, how long it lasts, but you get what you ask for. So we got that. Yeah, we'll go ahead. And we'll do an entire herd here. Seven. Doesn't, don't they require like eight for the minimum? Okay, so, that, all right. So let's release the T-Rex first. We're going to do an airlift. We're going to put the T-Rex all the way over here in the back. But we're also going to put some water over here and some sand. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try and make the T-Rex as happy as possible. With some goat feeders. Obviously, the T-Rex will probably end up eating way more than goat. But we'll, we'll, give it, we'll give it a little something something for now. Need some sand. See, you know you've been playing this game so long when you, when you know the basics of you know, most of the dinosaurs. In. Hello, Tank. How's it going? I hope you're doing good. You been playing Diablo 4? Yeah, it's been a quick minute since I played Diablo 4, UG. I just, I guess I kind of lost interest in it. All right, I think this is enough sand for the T-Rex at the moment, but it does need a little bit of water. So we'll give it a, we'll give it a, we'll give it a little lake here. There we go. All right, that should be enough for now. So that's going to be for the T-Rex. And then we'll park the... We'll park the gig over here. I don't know if the gig requires sand, though, but it, it does require water and uh, goats. So we're going to put we'll put two goat feeders over here because I think each one needs at least two goat feeders. We're going to kind of give them each a territory, but then, you know, if they you end up venturing outside of their territory, then that, that's on them. I'm not judging. Okay. So I may, you know, what I'm also gonna do. I'm gonna make a nice big river in between. What do y'all think? All right, let's look at the map. Okay, so, so I guess this is probably the center of the map because you definitely want to give your dinosaurs a lot of water. All right, so let's do that. I'm just gonna kind of do it like this. You know, kind of give it like a wavy feel to it, and I might, I might make some streams as well from the river. Okay. See? It kind of works. Alright. So now we got to move the gig. And by the way, let me know everybody like that hasn't had a dinosaur yet. We're going to keep naming dinosaurs. I'm about Once the uh, T-Rex gets put in place, we will name the T-Rex after Yuji. And then the gig after Belfast, and then you all can get dinosaurs too. Uh, well, Fallout London is a mod, uh, Belfast. It, that's been created by the mod community. All right. So I first want to make sure these guys got their needs taken care of. But the idea is I'm going to sprinkle in, like, vegetation, depending on which dinosaur needs what. And, like, give them, like, a generous, like, amount of vegetation. But if they venture outside of it, well, that's on them. That's not me. They made that choice in life. So the next, we got to name the T-Rex once the T-Rex lands. All right. So here's Yuji. All right. The big old Yuji. Congratulations, Yuji. You have a dinosaur named after you. See? See? They're already content. See? They got water. They got sand. They got goats. So there you go, Yuji. There's your T-Rex. <laughs> All right, let's go over here to the other side of the park. Okay, so the gig is the gig is being moved. All right, let's see. We can go ahead and just release the. Uh, they need ground leaf, so we well, for herbivores. I'm just going to release them as is. I'm not going to bother airlifting them. All right, but I do need to give them some some vegetation. They need ground leaf, so let's let's just like put. Some ground leaf here. All right. I'm gonna need to add some other stuff too, besides ground leaf for other herbivores. But for now, yeah, we'll just start like that, and then let's give them their own little lake. We'll put a little lake right, maybe like there. Okay, so the Gallimimuses are released. So let's give Shnakers. Uh, let's see which one's the. All right. Okay, here's the here's the alpha at the moment. 
So we'll get we'll give Snakers the alpha. Now that may change if they fight. So here's Snakers. Here's your Gallimima snake. So yeah, nice green Gallimimus. Okay, so let's go over here to all right. The gig is still being transported. You have zero. You want the bestest, most awesome dinosaur, but you have zero knowledge. Okay. And here's a power outage, but that's fine. Nice sandstorm. See, this is why you probably don't want to have the, the fence that I thought I put up because the dinosaurs can just simply walk walk around it once it goes down. A Spinosaurus? Well, we'll see. The Spinosauruses are pretty badass, though. Eventually, UG Belfast's uh, uh, gig's going to get delivered in the, in the sandstorm. I don't know. I think we went with too big of a map today. <laughs> Let me check something real quick. Let me look at the settings. Like, how do I have the weather? Infrequent. Okay. Infrequent's like the low. I wanted some weather. But I didn't want like a shit ton. Alright, so I got two goat feeders. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. We got to set up. We got to set that up. Yeah, because maybe building maybe building the biosyn fence was a bad idea. Maybe we should have just gone with a standard fence. What do y'all think? All right, so we're going to name this after Belfast, see what else it needs. Okay. All right, so... All right, so let's go ahead and name this one Belfast. And then we'll move on. We've got work to do. Can't be here all day. All right, so there you go, Belfast. There's your gig. Personally, I think it looks cooler than uh, than you know the '90s Godzilla film. As long as you stay out of my territory, no harm will come to you. Uh, yeah, Yuji's gonna his his T Rex is gonna be content with his own territory. All right, what's wrong with it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to put up a. Let me put a. Um, Give me a second. All right. Make sure the feeders are covered. There we go. All right. So I got that for that one. I need to put one over here for the gig as well. So the if these larger carnivores end up moving around, then that's their choice. So I'm not judging. Uh, I just want to make sure they that they're covered. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's go back over here real quick. It's quicker just to do it this way. Oh, damn it. See, one of them already did that. Which one is that? A snake, do a better job of your herd, please. This next objective oh. should be perfect for you. All right. I think you'll feel the same. Thank you, Dallas Bryce Howard. All right. Well, let's do that one. Okay. While we've worked with less in the past, for this particular dinosaur, we'll need a genome that hits the target. So what do y'all think of Dallas Bryce Howard? Y'all like her? I think she's all right. All right, we need, uh, let's just go with Jurassic Park uh, vehicles. No. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, eventually we'll, we'll have parks and other stuff, but first we're just doing this. Oh. Uh, Probably easier to do this with a mouse and keyboard, but I've kind of, I've gotten kind of good at using a controller. All right, so we got that ready to go. Let's uh, give a little bit more roadway. No, damn it! I hate it when that happens. I'm trying to keep this kind of straight. Okay, so now we need a, the MVUs. That way we can assign them to uh, care for the dinosaurs. Of course, they, they got a long trek ahead of them to get to the T-Rex. 
All right, but I also need that. I also need a capture team to to move the Gallimimus to trank it and move it. Okay, that's that's a little better. All right, so let me trank this Gallimimus before it dies. All right, so what do we want next? Well, well, they like to eat meat, Belfast, because they're called carnivores. All right, easily trained, so let's let's send it back to its herd. All right, yeah. Yeah, Schnakers, do a better job with your herd, please. If you could tell your herd of Gallimimuses to stay on, on this side of the fence, that would be great. All right, so what are we making next? Let me know, guys, what y'all want next. Let's put some... Uh, we need to put a control center up. I like to use the Biosyn control center because I can use, the out, use their observation platform. Okay. There we go. That way we can get better viewing. That'll be fine for now. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, basically, the carnivores can eat anything they want. All right, we're going to sign a ranger team and an MVU team. Oh, I have this set to unlimited. I want to change that. I want to give it some challenge. Okay, so let's change that real quick. Off, off. Uh, where's the where's the feeder? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to to that. Fuel power. Instant construction destruction. We'll, we'll turn that off too. Where's the feeder at? No income tax. Fuck the IRS. Cash high. Right. Where's the feeders at? Dinosaur exchange. Shouldn't I have the option to turn that on? Injuries. All dinosaurs. All right. Off. Normal. Off. All right, some of this I should have fixed. Normal disease on. Yeah. That way the dinosaurs will actually starve if I don't take good enough care of them. Danger to guests, normal escapes. I don't want this on. This one kind of sucks. Sometimes they get a little too intelligent for their own good. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're starting at 32 million. All right. The ranger team is going to have to drive all the way over here just to just to take care of them. <laughs> I'm a terrible employer. All right, so let's set this one as well. All right. There. Okay, so what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to put one over here to just, I guess, be an observation platform for uh, the gig. So we'll just put it right there. Now, the gig may not stay over here, but we'll go ahead and... Uh... Now, do I want to start like that or no? So, usually what I do is I build it the other way. I'll just leave it right there for now. Fuck it. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's get back to some dinosaurs. Okay, what, what's next on the delivery? What would y'all like added next? We need some more herbivores. Okay, so... What we got in our room? You know, we need some compies. Maybe I'll name some compies after you all. Hey, Tank, would you like a compie named after you? All right. So let's get some compies in here. They don't, they like sand, by the way. And by the way, I could put the compies over there with the T-Rex, and the T-Rex wouldn't bother them because the T-Rex is too big. But there's other carnivores that would eat the compies. So what I might do is just move the compies. Well, that, that requires me to actually airlift them, and I don't know if I want to bother airlifting them. All right. We do need some... We, need, we do need to start making some money here since we're losing money. So let's set up a hotel. We'll put a hotel. 
I guess we'll put Otto here. For the guess. Alright. No. No. It's all it's always about just like being real subtle with the with the controller. So we got that going up. We need also. Let's also get a shelter built in case things go bad, and they probably will. So we got a shelter. We're also gonna need a restroom. I like to use these. These look cheap. I mean, they're the same price, but they, they look like what you would expect a, a restroom at a park to look like. Nothing special. Just gets the job done. All right, so we got re restaurant coverage. All right, so we got them ready. We're going to need to give them some sand and some food. So let's... I'll continue to add to this. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather have this kind of sand. Okay. They're not that big, but we'll just we'll just give it a little square. There we go. Yes, nice sand. And a little bit of water. We'll just we're gonna go really simple with this setup there. All right, and of course we need to put some meat out for them. So I'll probably put it right here. Like, maybe conveniently in front of a viewing platform. Alright. So, release. Alright, Tank, I'll name, I'll name the Alpha after you. There you go. Oh, yeah, I gotta put up another... Uh... Yeah, I'll just put that there. Oh, yeah, I know what I need to do. I gotta do this real quick. Task scheduling and add an extra vehicle. Same thing with the MVUs. That way we have... That way we don't have to build as many. There. Okay, so that's good to go. All right, so let's do another uh, Ranger post. I want it to be to cover... Obviously cover up the feeders because the feeders are going to need to be replenished from time to time. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so let's find the alpha comp compi. It doesn't mean this one will remain the, the alpha, but we'll just name it after you. Alright. There you go. There we go. Taj, Tank Engine Jr., what do you think? You like that? There. There you go, Taj. Little Taj. Just hopping away all nice and happy. About a care in the world. Alright, so let's put a viewing gallery up. We'll use the Jurassic World ones. Those are cool. Alright, so that should be okay for now. Gonna need a road. Alright. We're also gonna need to put up some amenities. Another way to make money. We need money. All right. Let's do. We'll do large. There. I like whenever it locks like this. Yeah, that work. Then sushi. Can we do better financially? Nope. Okay, that's fine for now. All I care about is the money. I don't care about whatever is being served there. Just give me money. All right. All right, so that's the best we're going to do with that one. I might customize it a little bit more in a minute. Okay, so let's get... We've got to drink one now. Uh, there. Okay. All right, so what we got? Drinky, drinky. Get your drink on. All right. And as more guests come to the park, we'll make even more money off this. Okay. I guess that aquarium's gonna be the best. Okay, now a gift shop. 
right, so we have to put up another re repeater in a minute because this isn't going to get power. It's just fine. All right. All right, so first things first, we need to get a repeater up. Uh, all right, so scoot it back. Yeah, about here. Okay. Ice cream and chili and sea bass, hell yeah. So that's getting built up. This is a good start. All right. No, no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, shit. I don't need two beside each other. I... Idiot. I can switch it, though. There. All right. So they want books more, dinosaur adoptions. Once again, I clearly don't really care specifically what's what. All I care about is which one's going to make me the most money. <laughs> right, so we got dinosaur adoptions, configure, some additional income, entertainer. That's a good start. They'll make more money over time as we get more stuff. Hey, what's what's up, Stuart? How's it going? All right, so we got that going. Now we're gonna need some more dinosaurs. Uh, what kind of dinosaur do you want, Stuart? By the way, so UG already has a, a T-Rex, and Belfast already has a gig. So you have to pick something else. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, what do y'all want next? Stegosaurus? We'll add some Stegosaurus to the park. We'll go with, I like this variant better. I'm just adding dinosaurs now because we need dinosaurs. But what's everybody up to this weekend? Anything interesting going on? So we're going to build for them. As they really like like this plant. So I guess I'll I'll put that back here. I'll give them I'll give them a little bit bigger range. I'm just going like just flying by the seat of my pants here. It's probably gonna look fugly as hell by the time it's all said and done, but oh well, who cares? This should be more than enough of the stegosaurus for now. And we'll give them a little water in the middle. Looks kind of like a domino. <laughs> kind of, sort of. You want a Spinosaurus? Okay. Alright, select eggs. Boom. Alright, so... Stuart wants Stuart the Spinosaurus. Okay, let's do that. Get the health back to normal. Boom, and one Spinosaurus coming up. Let's decide where we want to put the Spino. I may put the Spino over in this corner. Now, Spino's like fish, so I'm going to have to give it some some water. So let's do that real quick. Let's We'll give it a nice little lake in the corner. What do y'all think? This ought, this ought to work. A lake with some fish. Fish feeders. All right. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Oh, why well, had all this? Okay. Well, I don't think it needs to be this big. Oh, that's where I fucked up. Oh, that's why I screwed up. Okay. Because that's right, I have a barrier here. Duh. Okay, so I don't want to put it all right there. Because I probably want to put... Eventually, I'm going to come all the way down here with a viewing gallery. Okay, so I guess this will work for for the lake. Be Stuart Lake. Oh, ah, damn it. I guess it's big enough. Uh, I'm trying to... All right, then we want to give it... I think two fish feeders are good. So we'll put one... One here. And one there. Okay, so there we go. Oh, yeah, a little island in the lake. Well, an island's going to be naturally necessary because of the, the ranger post. So there. 
Yeah, but I'll, I'll add to it. I can add to it. Uh, can I? I know I can. I can remove a little bit of the water. There you go. We'll make a little. We'll make a little island. There. Then I'll then I'll, I'll put some sand on this one. Oh, ah, damn it! All right, let's just put some sand. Nice sandy little island. There. Isn't that nice? You know what? You know what? We can also put a palm tree. There we go. There. Yay! A palm tree! <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. If somebody knows why that's funny, please, please enlighten me. Alright. So we got a team assigned to this one. Alright, so, so we got Stuart Lake with... Uh, a Spinosaurus named after Stuart. Um, let me fix this real quick. Uh, I feel like I need to make that a little bit more even steel. Okay. So we can go ahead and release the Stegosaurus. Does anybody want a Stegosaurus named after him? Uh, Riley wouldn't choose because I was playing, I was doing this last night. While hanging out in party chat, and she was like, I don't want a dinosaur. I gave her one anyways. It was still funny, though. Alright. So, uh, if anybody watching wants a, a stegosaurus named after him, let me know. Alright. So, we do need to start building plat viewing platforms. Alright. So, I guess I'll build the first Because I like to build them like this way. And then just going backwards. Because there's also a hyperloop that that connects them all together, so that's kind of like why I, I stopped uh, the construction a moment ago. I think we're gonna have to build some repeaters though. Okay. All right, that should get powered all the uh, hyperloops and all the outposts around the map once that's set up. All right, so Stuart Spinosaurus is ready to be airlifted. All right. Little Skull Island, okay. There. Acknowledging asset collection request. So, there's this. Let's go check on our other dinosaurs, shall we? Well... For some reason, uh, Stuart's gig is far away from food. Uh, Belfast, you may want to talk about your gig. Your gig needs to be over here. But whatever. Uh, but so far, Yuji's T-Rex is staying in their territory. See? So they're doing fine. Uh, what's up, Icarus? How's it going? Hey, Icarus, you want a dinosaur named after you? Could I interest you in a, in a lovely stegosaurus or perhaps something else? <laughs> All right, so what do we need next? All right. Anyone want a bird? Big mean bird. We also got ACR. Those are, we're not doing the hybrids, so screw the hybrids. We're not, we're not making a hybrid. Uh, anyone want a sauropod? Sauropods are neat. So we got those. We got we got Ankylosaurus. We got some Pile Raptors. We got Velociraptors. So let me know what you guys think we should have next in the park. I think I want some Avi Raptors. I like these little chickens. They're basically chickens. Plus, they're they're habitable in the same area as the Gallimimuses and uh, the Compies, so they'll be fine. Plus, they're the only omnivore that I have. So these little guys are omnivores. So anyone want a little chicken? Maybe we'll name one KFC. Well, it's first come first serve, Stuart, and someone and UGR picked the the T Rex. Well, it, 
It wouldn't be a brontosaurus, it would be an apatosaurus. But I, I guess I could make an apatosaurus. But I'm actually wanting to name them after people in chat, though. And uh, hi, Bounty, how's it going? Uh, Icarus wants a velociraptor. Okay, we could do that. All right, so we'll go ahead and release them. But if anyone wants an oviraptor, let me know. Our Segasaurus. All right. I think we're going to need more than four, though. Yeah, I'm going to need to make more because the minimum. I want to keep it with the minimum population. Some of, some of these dinosaurs need more than just one. So we'll release a few more than just that. That way they're not lonely. That would be really sad if they were lonely. All right. Yay, more chickens. So velociraptors. We'll have to put them somewhere, maybe in the middle of the park. All right, where are the velociraptors? All right, let's see if we can tweak their health genome. The health genome, once again, is the only one I really focus on. The social combat, I don't, I don't bother with that. But I also do randomize the, the skin and patterns. All right. All right. So, got the Velociraptors. All right. That'll work. All right, let's release the chickens, shall we? Here come the chickens. The Avi Raptors. They're basically chickens. Yeah, the Oviraptor. Thanks for correcting me. All right, so where do we want to put the Raptor? The Velociraptors. Okay, so the Spinosaurus is being delivered. I think I think Belfast Gig has gone back to its section of the map, realizing that you know it has food and water over here. Is it going after a goat? It's going after a goat. Good job, Belfast. You smashed your goat. I guess I guess Belfast likes goat pancakes. <laughs> Washed down with a glass of water. All right, so let's put the Velociraptors probably in the middle of the park. Maybe I'll put them. I don't want to put them right by the T-Rex or the or the gig. Uh, maybe in this. I guess like maybe like this area. All right, so we're going to do that. Let's. Uh, all right, so we'll just put them over here. Yeah, that way they're they have they have. They already have drinking water because of the river. But we're going to need to put, I think, probably just one of these. Just one goat feeder should should do the trick. There. All right, so we'll put the raptors over here. It doesn't mean they'll stay there, it, but they'll probably move around. All right, what's our rating? All right, all right, we got almost a three-star rating. We're, we're making progress. You want to see yours in action? Yeah, yours should be ready to name. Let me let me go name it. All right, so here's here's Stuart. All right, Stuart the Spino. There you go, Stuart. There's your Spinosaurus. The Stuart Spinosaurus at Stuart Lake. So they're happy. They got two feeders. They got plenty of water. They're good to go. All right, so next are the Velociraptors. We're gonna have to airlift them. Open space, okay. So we'll just we'll just move them over here. The reason why I like these kind of maps is you don't have to bother with with a force. The force can be so annoying to. But I think I will give them some sand. What do y'all think? Let's do that. A little sand over here for the Velociraptors. And then, uh, Icarus, I'll name the uh, Alpha Raptor at the time after you. It doesn't mean they'll, they'll remain the Alpha Raptor. But that's the way I've been doing it. All right. So what do y'all want next in the park? Y'all want some sauropods? What kind of sauro... Oh, yeah, you guys wanted a... I think, uh, I think Snake mentioned something about an Apatosaurus. Which were originally brought to sources. Name it Crux. Y'all yeah, name it Crux if, if that's what you want it called. 
I'll, I'll name I'll name one of them Crux. Or do you want do you want the prettiest one named Crux? How do you do you want the Alpha or, or the one? I'll let you decide which one you like of the three. I'll let you do that. So let's let's get an Apatosaurus. Let's get its health up to normal. All right. There. So we only need one. Of, okay, this is gonna need Tall Leaf. Okay. All right. All right. So so far the, they're doing all right. Stegosauruses are happy. And once again, uh, stegosauruses have yet to be claimed. So if somebody wants to name a stegosaurus after them, you can. Uh, we also have the uh, chickens. Oh, yeah. I wanted to put a chicken feeder over here. Well, let's just put it. We'll put it right there. Okay. All right. So we got this going on. And we got this view. So, view from the platform, a view from the uh, gallery right there. Might need some bushes. Um, I could put some... I guess I could put some bushes over here. Uh, let me let me assign a ranger team to this one. Alright, and MVU team. Okay. Alright, so some bushes. Uh, so that's all the options we have. What would work? Um, let's. See. I'm trying to think. I'll probably just put some. Maybe I'll put some ground leaf over here because you never know. Herbivores may end up coming over here. Maybe I'll put a little ground fiber too. Eh, kind of works, I guess. Eh, at least it gives it a little kind of a design. Okay. Tall grass. Well, I mean, I guess that's that is a good point. They do like tall grass. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll just give it shades of ground fiber and uh, ground leaf. And herbivores like this too. So if the herbivores come up over here, then they'll, they could end up finding themselves on the menu. So maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. There we go. I guess that'll work for now. Complete. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. All right. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. All right. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. So, other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's a that's a joke. All right. Thanks. Uh, voice actor who's clearly not Chris Pratt. All right, anyways, uh, do you like this raptor or do you want to look at the other two raptors? Okay, so this is uh, this is 001. Let's look at 002 real quick. All right, do you like this one more? Ooh, this one has kind of a stripe thing to it. Do you like 002 more than 001? Or do you like the solid gray look? Or do you want to look at 003? Where's 003 at? Okay, here comes 003. All right. We'll look at them in a minute. What else do we need to make? Um, oh. There is a building. Oh, yeah. I need to make... I need to uh, do this real quick. So they need tall leaves. So I got to find a spot for them. I might put them back here. Yeah, I might do that. All right. Let's look at the third one. See which one... All right. So here's the third one. All right, so which one do you like more? Do you like, which one do you want named after you, Icarus? Uh, 01, 02, or 03? So you've had a chance to look at all three of them. I'll let you pick which one you want. They all look really good, I think. And they're happy. They got their own little turf over here. So I think I'm going to put the Apatosaurus back here. We'll build up this side of the park. So they need Tall Leaf. All right, so that's Tall Leaf. Okay. So we'll do kind of like a half and half thing for the Patasaurus. All right. All right. So put some tall leaf here. There. 
Then I may, they might put some more ground leaf over here just to, well, maybe, uh, you know what, we'll just stick with tall leaf. We'll, yeah, we'll just do that. Screw it. We'll just keep this entire area for the Apatosaurus. For now. If it wanders off, you know, that's its own problem. I don't care if it does. I try my best to provide, but sometimes they don't care. Alright. I mean, for the record, I don't think I need to give it water because it has this river. So it should be fine. You like O3? Okay. Okay. Or, two, or do you want you want two instead? Okay, we'll give you two. All right, where where did O2 go? So there's here's O. All right, uh, it's also the alpha, so that works out. So let's name it Crux. Crux the Raptor. What's well, it's the alpha for now? There you go. So there you go. There's your Raptor, Icarus. Hope you like it. I think it's the coolest. All three look pretty cool, but I think this is the coolest looking one. All right, so there you go. So we got the raptors. They're chilling over here in their territory. So we're ready to uh, airlift the Apatosaurus over here. It has water on the river, so it'll be fine. I gave it a pretty big territory because you never know what else I might put over there. We'll airlift this one. Now the problem is we're getting close to the T-Rex. There. But I don't T-Rexes usually don't go after well, there's the T-Rex. Yuji, you're uh Yuji, um, buddy, you're kind of uh missing your uh your section. Just so it doesn't dehydrate, I'll I'll give it a, a little stream from the river. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna make a little stream there. <laughs> That'll work. That way it looks kind of like a river, you know, rivers and streams and all that good stuff. Okay, so we have an Apatosaurus. What else? All right, let's build another outpost. All right. all right, so we got one right there. We'll put another one here. Yeah, it's not going to co cover it 100%, but it'll work. And then I just connect it with the Hyperloof. And then we'll build another one. All right, we'll wait till that's built before we see its range. You're sleeping, leave you be. Are, are you just sun tanning? Well, there you go. I gave you some water. You're welcome, UG. Uh, UG, your turf is back there. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you in the mood for some Gallimimus? <laughs> it's like, ah, I'm kind of, kind of want something other than goat tonight. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll put, uh, fuck. Yeah, I didn't, I should have thought about where I was gonna put the uh, Patasaurus. I guess right here's fine. All right, we'll do that. All right. So, what do y'all want next? You go where you wanna go, I guess it's a good point. Let's check on Stuart. All right. All right, Stuart's staying by the water and the fish. Okay. There goes Stuart. Okay, let's go see how Belfast is doing. All right, I guess we need to make another stream. Let's do that real quick. We're streaming, everyone. <laughs> there. So we got we got uh, Belfast. You want you want some triceratopses? Okay. All right. So the raptors are happy in their little area. Yeah, we can make some triceratopses, but I think we have to keep them away from the stegosauruses because they'll fight each other. That's gonna happen anyways, but whatever. All right. So triceratopses next. And it, look, if anyone has any suggestions for dinosaurs you want to see in the park, let me know. But I guess we're adding some of the more tried and true ones, the more well known ones. And once again, if somebody wants a, a Triceratops named after him, let me know. 
All right, I think they need ground fiber. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll give them a ground fiber paddock. I'm trying to give them a little bit of uh, artificial space. I guess I can do some ground fiber over here. So let's do that real quick. All right. Yeah, we'll just build it right here. All right, Yuji's yelling. There we go. Nice square. I guess this will be okay right now for uh, t for triceratopses. Or maybe I should give them a little bit more room. We'll see. Problem is, I think I put it too close to stegosaurus, so they the stegosaurus and the the triceratopses might end up fighting. I'm sure that's what some of y'all want to see, anyways. Oh yeah, tomorrow Red did online poker stream, so we're doing that tomorrow on the channel, and then next week. Uh, see if Thieves comes out early access on PS5. So that's going to be fun. I guess that's fine for the t the Triceratopses. Alright. Th okay, so that, that'll that meet the bare minimum. Okay. Alright, so where's the Apatosaurus? Okay, so the Apatosaurus misses open space. Well, there's plenty of open space beyond your paddock. I guess I could clear a path in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. Or maybe we'll, maybe we'll just clear it along the uh, river. We'll just do that, I guess. Uh, there, maybe put some sand instead, make it look a little bit more appealing. There we go. Oh, just to make it look kind of good. What do y'all think? There. There we go. That's not perfect, but it'll work. All right, so T-Rex is just chilling. I guess it'll go back to its paddock in a little bit when it feels like it. All right, so that seems a little bit happier. All right. So that I'm just going to go ahead and airlift them over there to their paddock. On route to collect the asset. All right. The Guibosaurus. Okay. Like what what's what's a what's a Guibosaurus? All right. By the way, if y'all see a, a dinosaur you like, you want me to add to the park, let me know. I don't think I have a Guibosaurus. <laughs> what? What is that? All right. I'm trying to see what else I want to add. Uh, maybe a maybe a pack. You know, Parasaur would be kind of cool. Uh, they require ground nuts, so maybe I'll add a few of them. But, uh, oh yeah, I can add some of them. These also eat ground leaf. You know what? I'm, I'm going to add some of these guys. Just for the sake of adding more dinosaurs. We need more. We need more. Oh shit, I'm going broke. Shit. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I need to get some views on the T-Rex. And the other dinosaurs. Not good. Y'all didn't tell me we were going broke. All right. I have to put something out here with the T-Rex. Asset transportation in progress. All right. Yeah. I think three is the minimum for this species. Oh, two. Okay. Then I can just release them right here. There. There we go. See, they'll be fine here. Yeah, Staggy's over here. Okay, we need to put another viewing gallery over here. Yeah, it's not much of a viewing gallery, is it? I guess, you know what do you do? We'll put one here. 
Let's bring the road down. Oh, we have some high traffic right there. Yeah, we gotta start making. Oh, we are making profit, but the problem is we're spending, we're we're spending so much money on dinosaurs right now. Okay, so that'll work for the moment. Let's get some repeaters down here. Okay, so those two repeaters will help. Transporting yeah, we have to lot of sources. I could add those. Uh, you want an ankylosaurus? Okay. I, got, I don't know what Belfast was asking for. Let me copy pasta that in Google and see if something comes up. I think you misspelled it, Belfast. Google was your friend, except for all the spying. Oh, it is an actual dinosaur. Okay. I don't think I... I don't think we have that. I mean, I've got a... Okay, so I think the closest thing we may have to that, I'll show you real quick, Belfast, is a, is a scavenger. Okay, so that was an actual dinosaur. Okay. So I think the closest thing I have to what you're, what you're thinking about is this. A coal. Is that what you were thinking? So I, you know, we have those. They're not too expensive. All right, let me keep building this up real quick because we got to get more viewing galleries. That's why the guests are coming to the park, right? See them dinosaurs. All right, keep bringing this down. Ah, son of a bitch. All right. There we go. All right, so we need some restrooms. Let's do that next. Okay. So we'll put one right here. There. And then we'll put another one over here. We also need some fallout shelters. You know, in case the world ends in 2077. Built by vault <laughs> Have y'all seen the Fallout TV show? What do y'all think about it? I think I'm going to do a review for it Monday. So look for a Fallout TV review on Monday. I mean, for the record, I, I really enjoyed it. Riley and I enjoyed watching it. And Riley's not really into Fallout, but she had a good time. Okay. All right, I think that's good for now. Okay, so we got that. We need some more fallout shelters. All right, I think we're using the Jurassic World one. So might as well keep them. Okay. I guess I'll, I guess I'll build it right here. All right. So I might I might need to build one right here. What, what about restroom? Should I put a restroom right there? Yeah, I'll put a restroom right there as well. By this viewing gallery. So let's go ahead and put a restroom there. Maybe we'll try and keep it a similar build. I don't know about you, but whenever I go somewhere, I like to make sure there's plenty of restrooms. And hope that they're clean. <laughs> perfect. That works perfect. Gave you Fallout 4 vibes? Well, it's set sometime after the events of Fallout 4 because it's canonical. Let's see. Tank says, watch the series, never played Fallout. Kind of interested now. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Uh, you just said, surprised how good it was. Yeah, me too. I really enjoyed it. So I'm definitely thinking about making a, a review on it. Uh, open space. I guess I can put some open space around around this little lake. It's not much of a lake, but whatever. Maybe I'll add more water to it. There. Yeah, I think they're okay for now. The problem is, will they actually stay over here? Probably not. 
All right. All right, so the Apatosaur seems okay. This isn't really showing us anything. All right. All right, we're going to arrange this back a little bit. All right. Eventually, hopefully, th these will show, show something. But the real goal here is to get a good view of the T-Rex. Then we'll kind of do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we want a good view of the T-Rex. So I'll probably just put it like right here. Yeah, that'll work. Then I'll bring this Hyperloop to this one. Boom. Okay, so this side is connected with uh, various uh, outposts. And I don't know what I'm going to put over here. I'll put something. But the problem is it's going to be uh, its neighbor. It's kind of bitey. Something will get put over there. I don't know what yet. Okay. All right. We need a viewing platform over here now. All right. Let's put it. I guess I'll put it right here. And then I'll connect it to that one. So that one's gonna let's go check on the other uh, dinosaurs. All right, so this one's doing okay. Let's check on uh, the spine, the gig. All right, so there's the gig. Okay, okay. So they're all okay. Let's, how about the raptors? Yeah, we're going to the raptors. Oh, uh, this one's not doing so good. What's wrong with this one? All right, let me send a let me send a team to look at this one. I don't know what's wrong with that raptor. Uh, all right, let's send some veterinarians. All right, all right. All right how are the other raptors doing? Well, I mean, I put a I put a thing here, but I guess they're outside of the range of it. That kind of sucks. Oh, well, we'll find out what's going on with that raptor in a minute. Okay, so what else do we want? Was there any additional suggestions? Let me look back and chat. Uh, an ankylosaurus. Okay, so y'all wanted an ankylosaurus. Okay. There we go. Big old... We're... Now, this one, I, I think I want to name it Bumpy in honor of Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. Now, that's a very underrated show riley and i actually watched it last week it's not bad i mean it's geared towards kids and well i guess jurassic fans as well but it wasn't bad i'll give it that much it's not perfect but it wasn't bad so maybe we'll name that one bumpy all right if no one else is willing to claim the ankylosaurus or the ankylosaurus i think it's pronounced ankylosaurus Oh, there's two of them. Okay. I don't think it needs... I think it, I think it only needs one, though. Yeah, let's we'll do one. These are kind of expensive. Needy, antisocial. We'll do this one. Okay. As you can tell, they're not cheap. All right. So... All right, the MVU unit's heading out to check on that Raptor. All right. Hopefully the raptor will be okay. Let's continue building this up, though. Because I obviously do want to get a view of the raptors, too. Okay. Oh, I got it in the wrong way. Story of my life. All right. It's the T-Rex. <laughs> Yuji, you're being a dick. Missing prey. Holy shit, Yuji. What? They're terrified. All right, I'll, I'll put another go feeder out. Screw it. Let's just put it over here. Yuji's like, I want more territory. There. I don't want my T-Rex to starve, so... All right. You know what? Let's put some sand. Let's. We'll do that. 
Maybe we'll just expand the T-Rex's turf. This part, like, using, like, the topography stuff is expensive. Off my patch, you bastards. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so... This way I can kind of look at him. There. Alright. Alright, so... Alright, so we have... Yeah, we have an MVU going to look at this raptor. That one's not doing so well. All right. Well, let's see. What do we need? Oh, yeah, the Ankylosaurus. What does the Ankylosaurus need in its life? Gonna need some ground leaf, ground fruit. Oh, isn't it needy? All right. So we got to build it uh, a little something, something with ground fruit and ground leaf. I, I guess what we'll do is we'll do kind of half and half here. All right, so half ground leaf on this part. All right, so we'll do that. What was it, ground fruit? I always hate it whenever that happens because I try to remember what it needs and I sometimes, I, okay. Ground leaf, ground fruit, okay. You already have a goat feeder. Your raptors have a goat feeder, see? It's right there. I right, took care of that. I'm on my game. So ground fruit. Uh, which one's ground fruit? Okay, this one. Okay. So we'll put. I guess we'll put ground fruit right here. Even though there's already ground fruit there, so it'll probably wander into the Stegosaurus turf, and they're probably gonna fight. But whatever. All right. There we go. It's not perfect, but then I'll, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to start taking advantage of this. No. All right, here we go. There. Kind of gives it a little bit of a water resource. All right, so let's airlift it over here. That way it has a little bit of both. You didn't see me put it there because I'm quick. That's how much I've been playing this game. I'm so fast, I put it in there and you don't even realize it. All right, so we got that going on. What do we want next? All right, so these are making some money. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, we need a shelter over here now. All right, let's put it... I mean, kind of uniform, I guess. I guess this kind of works. All right. So we got that rocking. Asset transportation underway. So weird. The stegosaurus are like right here, even though their food source is over here. It's like, whatever. All right. Let's keep building up the uh, outposts. That way we can get a nice shot of the raptors. All right. Uh, I guess I'll make it right there. It's not going to be perfect, but whatever. I don't know what I'm going to put over here. I'm going to put something. It's going to be kind of problematic because it's going to be neighbors with the raptors, but maybe I won't bother putting anything. Maybe I'll just put, like, ground leaf and ground fiber just for the sake of having it. Then again, it's kind of expensive. Hey, what's up, Kane? How's it going? Thank you for being a junior member for 22 months now. Uh, the park's coming along nice. Uh, we've named some dinosaurs after some of the viewers. Would you like a dinosaur named after you? For the record, uh, UG already got dibs on the T-Rex... And Belfast dibs on the gig. And then the, the Spinosaurus is... Uh, that's Stuart's Spinosaurus, see? Oh, and the, rap, the raptors already uh, got named after Icarus. Some of these animals are naturally aggressive. We can't genetically engineer that trade out, nor would we want to. They're very friendly. So, 
You have to keep an eye on them. But but they're so friendly though. I mean, the T Rex just wants to hug you with its teeth, because it it can't with its hands. They're they're too short. All right, what dinosaur is not doing good? Uh, oh no, this this raptor is not. I don't know what's going on with this raptor. Uh, Snake, let, let Kane pick up the dinosaur that, that he would like. I mean, I can add Edmonton sources, but, you know, let Kane have a choice, you know? Everyone has a right to pick the dinosaur that they want named after them, as long as it hasn't already been named after somebody else. I guess I can just make this, like... I guess I can put another goat feeder here. Yay, more goat feeders. Trying to keep these things alive. It's it's which is more difficult because it's I'm doing this whole safari thing. It makes it a little bit more difficult. Alright. I didn't do anything to your raptors. This one's just having some issues. I mean your raptor's fine. Alright, where is your rap? What 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 is your raptors doing? Uh, your raptors just like, they don't like their territory. I mean, what's up with that? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with your raptors. They should be happy over here. Oh, you want, do you want another ACR? I mean, I already have like, the problem is I already have like three apex predators in the park already, Kane. I'm kind of hesitant about adding a fourth one. I guess I, I could give you another ACR, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what I want to add next. All right. Uh, I guess I need to add more amenities. I'll add them down here. Kind of keep it spread out. All right. Uh, damn it. That's not going to make me profit. All right, I need another hotel. Uh, all right, let's go with um, let's go with the Jurassic Park hotel. Yeah, let's put it right here. By the way, does anyone have any name suggestions for the hotels? They're stubborn, just like you? Okay. Ah. That's not making me any money, so I'll keep it de deactivated for now. All right. All right, let me build another outpost. Kind of concerned about the raptors not staying in their territory. I mean, I built them this nice little territory and they won't even stay there. How rude. There. Okay. What the f... Why the hell are they doing this? Like... I'm have to build another goat feeder, I guess. I'm just going to have to spread goat feeders out throughout the park in order to keep them alive. Not exactly cheap because each goat feeder costs a hundred thousand dollars. So I guess I'll put another one right there. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with these guys. They're just not doing so well. It's so weird because I mean, his health is down, but everything else is fine. It's like water, open open space, prey. Yet health wise they're not they're not doing so well. I really don't get it. So strange. Alright, what's next on the menu? Not Disneyland? Okay. There we go. 
What do y'all mean name the other uh, hotel? There you go. There's the not Disneyland. All right. Who wants to name? Who wants to name this one? All right. I need. You know, I need. I need something else that likes ground fiber. So what else we got? I think the ace. The these guys like ground fiber. No, they like ground fruit. Uh, all right. They like both. Um, what do we got that likes? All right, they like ground fire. Okay, wait, uh, Edmonton sources. Okay, Snaker suggested the Edmonton. Yeah, they, okay, they, they like. Okay, these might get along with the Triceratopsis. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that. Save it. Okay, so how many? We need at least four. Okay. Island Nublar Inn. Okay, fine. We name it that. There you go. Island Nublar Inn and not Disneyland. <laughs> Oh damn it! It only gave me three. I need I need like one more. Damage. All right, so I'll just get one out of this batch because they aren't cheap. All right. All right, well, let's go with that one. The other two can be destroyed because I need only like four of them. All right, all right. They're ready to be airlifted over there with the T. Triceratopses. There we go. Dedicate to the first movie. Okay, I mean, I guess that's a good point. All right, so we got some Edmonton Sauruses going into the park. All right, any other suggestions for uh, the for dinosaurs? All right, so it looks like Yuji went back to his corner. Yuji's like, fine, I'll go back to my corner. The raptors, on the other hand, why? They're in, they're like nowhere near their territory. These raptors, I swear. And this one, this one's about to fucking die. Well, we're about to have our first ca casualty. All right, let me see if I can get it. I think it might be too late. Like, I don't get it. Maybe a, maybe it's too much. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, let's just take away this mill part. Maybe it's not open enough. Oh, I think we... Yep, yeah, we just lost poor... Well, rip Icarus. You, you died of stupidity. I thought Velociraptors were smart. All right, I guess, well, I mean, it needed, like, food, water, and open space, so I, maybe they just didn't have enough open space here? Uh, uh, well, these two are fine. Okay, which one do you want to be, which one was, is going to be Crux 2? Is, uh, 03 going to be Crux 2? You know what? I'm sending them back to their biome. Let's shrink them. Well, no, that's not. All right. Do you do you want this one to be Crux too? Oh God. Or do you want to name something else? There we go. There we go. There, there's Crux two. Crux two will live on in memory of. Of Crux One. <laughs> Sometimes the dinosaurs in this game are stupid. <laughs> it's like it would make sense for them to stay near the goat feeder and not die, but okay. All right. All right. What else do we want? Uh, I don't think we have any packies, do we? 
Yeah, that one, that first one was pretty cool looking. It does suck that it's it's gone now. Oh yeah, Kane wanted a dinosaur with small hands. I mean, these dryosaurs technically have small hands. But I know like, Kane wants a freaking ACR. Fine, Kane, I'll give you another ACR. God, these are expensive though. There. All right, so there's two raptors left. I mean, these two are kind of doing okay, though. Maybe I just maybe there wasn't enough vegetation over here. What I'll probably do is I'll probably just put the ACR over here. Let me add another goat feeder because I think they need like two goat feeders. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put the ACR right there. All right. There we go. Wow, aggressive, intolerant, strong attack. Okay. It's a pretty mean ACR right there. All right. Uh... I want to build a monorail. Yeah, I could do that. Eh, monorails are not cheap, though. All right, let me build some monorails. Oh, I can't. They're too, it's too close to the... Never mind. Maybe it's the sand? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I guess I can remove some of the sand. Give me a second. I, I don't know. I guess it'll be okay. It might be okay. All right, so let's move. Let's move the uh, ACR over there because the, I guess the Raptors don't want it anymore. All right, so we're just gonna do that. Collecting asset. Right. I Man, I did put that there, so whatever. All right. I guess text real quick. Anyways, being transported. All right, so we got uh, Kane's ACR being transported. All right, what else do we need? Oh, yeah, I was thinking pack. What do y'all think, Packies? Oh, yeah, I was going to name the An Ankylosaurus Bumpy. Where is the Ankylosaurus? There you are. This is the only one I'm actually going to name. Everyone else can name your dinosaur. I'm just naming this one Bumpy. You know, from you know Camp Cretaceous. There we go. There we go. That's Bumpy. All right. See, they keep going outside their territory. Oh, whatever. I try to keep them in, the, in their territory. I provide them with food and water, and this is the thanks I get. All right. Maybe this time. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, this one requires ground leaf and fiber. Okay. No. Ground leaf fiber. Maybe pack. Yeah, we could. Let's do some packies. We'll do some. Because they also require ground leaf. Okay. I always try to think of things that kind of are compatible. Not always, but sometimes. All right. We need. Uh, how many of these? All right. There we go. Anybody want to be a packy? There we go. They're hard headed. And that one's glitching through uh, the ground. We should call that. We should call this one glitchy. What do y'all think? 
We're naming this one Glitchy. Because he's glitchy. Sometimes you see one, you just feel like naming it. There, you're glitchy. <laughs> oh yeah, let me save it real quick. There we go. Alright. So, we'll probably go on for a little bit longer. Not We're not going to have too long of a stream today because Riley and I have got plans. But I thought at least we'd do like a chill stream. Just hang out. Maybe like for another 50 minutes and continue building the park. And then, uh, tomorrow, Red Dead Online Poker. Alright. We'll name this one after Kane. There. There you go, Kane. There, there, here's your new uh, Ankylosaurus. I mean, not, not your new ACR. It's not Ankylosaurus. I cannot. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, there. Is it happy now? That's Kane. <laughs> okay, so we got Kane. What's UG up to? UG's just hanging out. Not much over here. Uh, okay. All right, where are the raptors at? Where the hell are the raptors? Oh, they're up here. Well, they seem happy. Oh, they had a goat. Okay. Well, as long as they're happy. Now, maybe I'll put another uh, goat feeder right here. There. They kind of lost their turf to the ACR. Just stretching your legs, don't mind you. Okay. Let's go check on Belfast. Not much going on over here. I guess Belfast is in the mood for He's in the mood for another goat. There he goes. Num. Alright. Let's continue building this up, shall we? Alright. Eventually we might add something over here. In case we do, we'll have a we'll have a outpost ready to go. All right. Oh, we got some people here. Let's see if we can make a profit off this one now. Okay, we can. Okay, now we can start. All right, let's see what's the most profitable. So that's 15, 17. Let's do that. Run a park needs money, you know. It's not cheap. All right. Got that up and running. Okay, so now we need some more amenities. All right. Squeeze it. There. Okay. Well, I guess Boba is very popular in the park. Oh, well. Like I said, I don't... I don't even care if it's vegan. As long as it makes me money. And then, then a restaurant day. Slide it down. All right. So burgers and fries. Cheap burgers. Falafel. I think that's the winner. All right. Looks like falafels. Oh, well, let's keep going. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, I guess falafel is the winner. Seating. All 
All right, that's good enough. Okay. Uh, some more sources of revenue. All right, so we got that going. I'm trying to get all the dinosaurs viewable. Eventually, we'll put last stuff over here, but for now, we don't. That's fine. They get, whoever comes to these platforms can look at a whole lot of nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot to. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. Shit. Storm defense, increased power. Yeah, sometimes I forget to do this. That way, see, I got more. I got plenty of power. That's why I usually I just go at two power, large power stations. All right, so that's going good. We might build another hotel over here. All right. Hey, what should we name the next hotel? All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with the Malta Hotel because I like this one. This one looks kind of cool. All right, what do y'all want to name the the Malta Hotel? There. Taking name suggestions now. No, oh, this is not cooperating. Why are you Why are you like this? There we go. We're always expanding the park, you know, always thinking about the future and building it up. Planning ahead for a brighter tomorrow. All right, we need more power over here. So we're gonna need to put the repeater Perfect. Okay, will that cover it or will that be too far? That might not work. Maltese Falcon. Yeah, I could do Maltese Falcon, I guess. That might work. Okay, we'll do that. Meanwhile, uh, any more dinosaur Motel 6? Um, you already named one, Icarus. You named this one. You don't get to, you can, you don't get to name another one. But multi yeah, that might work for like a that might work in a, in a minute. If we build another park, I mean, another uh, hotel. All right, so that repeater's not making it over here. Damn it. All right. Let's see if I can just put, maybe I can just, no, shit. Fine. Maltese Falcon. Hey, you know what? What if I call it? Well, we'll just call it Falcon. I was going to call it the Maltese Raptor, but we'll just call it Falcon. It's fine. There we go. The Maltese Falcon. See? Not a bad view. See? That's why I build them like this. It's because they also serve as kind of viewing platforms. See? See? And then this one. See? We don't just cater to the super rich. That's true. I could put a cheap motel. Technically. Okay, so we got those. I'm trying to think of what else we want to add. Let's check on Kane. All right. Kane's just doing his own thing. Going in for a little water. All right, let's get a viewing platform on the Spinosaurus if we can. I uh, see Gibson. What's up, Gibson? How's it going? Well, the idea would be to have it right here. Uh, It's not going to work as well. But the problem is the Spinosaurus is right here. Not exactly where we want it. Maybe we can... What if we put it on the island? Ah, son of a bitch. You cannot cooperate, can you? 
All right, let's just put it right there. That'll work. Screw it. All right, so we got that connecting. But I hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. We'll go on for maybe about another 30, 40 minutes, and we'll call it a day. Just to build and chill stream, playing a little Jurassic World Evolution 2, building up a, a park with your participation. So if you want a dinosaur named after you, let me know what kind of dinosaur you want. As long as it already hasn't been named. So we got some restaurants. I, I think that's, these are space from the other amenities. Okay, that's good. Let's kind of think of what I want over here. It's always trying to think of something, you know. So we got Bumpy right here. Bumpy seems fine. How are raptors? Um, well, that's not good. You might not want to be too close to that to cane. All right. Pretty good weekend so far, plus the weather's lovely in Ireland. Nice. Very nice. Well, what's wrong with what's wrong with the T Rex? Yeah, sometimes I'm like, what the hell's wrong with them? Uh, maybe if I just put like a regular uh, meat tray. All right, I'll just put a regular meat tray. There, maybe that'll work. Yeah, let me throw down some regular meat trays in case. All right. Sometimes you have to do this because I mean, it, it says prey, but they at the end of the day, some of them just want meat. Well, except for the Spinosaurus, it wants fish. Fish. I think Belfast is okay, though. Yeah, Belfast is fine. All right, so we're good with Belfast. All right. Yeah, I'm worried about the T-Rex. Like, what is going on with the T-Rex? I mean, it has goats. It has goats, it has water, it has sand. I put a meat, meat tray here just so it would eat. I don't know. It should it should be fine. So I don't, okay, the CMVU is going to go check on it. Okay, hopefully it makes it there in time. Or else usually you'll be getting a new T Rex. All right. So the ACR is okay. Oh well, that's not good. Uh, Icarus, one of your Raptors thinks it's a good idea to hang out with the ACR. I don't think this is a good idea. What, what, what is this? Get away from my friend! <laughs> Do they even like raptors? No, they don't like raptors. <laughs> oh, no, I think the... Oh, I've got a bad feeling the T-Rex the is... Oh, the T-Rex is dead. Fuck. Well, I gotta get a new two wrecks now. Damn it. Acknowledging asset collection All right, Yuji, do you want it to be called UG2 or you want to name it something else than your new T Rex? Damn it. Like, there was no reason for it to die. Like, what the hell? Maybe it died of boredom. All right, let's make a new T-Rex. Not that I want to do it because they're freaking expensive, but whatever. I got to have a T-Rex in the park. So, Yuji, you can name the T-Rex. What do you want to name it? You want to name it Gina? We can name it Gina. If you don't, if you rather call it Gina than UG two. <laughs> Transportation underway. All 
By the way, any, anybody else wants a dinosaur named after them? <laughs> All right, so let's get in some views. Uh, kind of hundred percent. No one's really coming over here because I got I got to put something over here. I don't know what to put over here though. I think I'm thinking maybe another herbivore, but I haven't decided what what kind of herbivore would y'all like to see over there. We'll see. Some copies. Oh, <laughs> vehicle. All right. All right. Do you want it named Gina or just UG2? <laughs> All right. Apparently there's issues with raptors constantly running away or not eating or drinking. Yeah. Well, they do eat, but I, th I think the problem with the game is it's like most people like just build standard paddocks. And sometimes the dinosaurs don't really like, it's like they don't really like having open space, but I don't, I don't care. I'll just do it anyways. So I'll put that meat tray down. And then there's a crux too. All right, so we'll go with Gina. Okay. Now, what should I put over here? I need something else over there. Let me think. What do y'all think? Another? Do y'all want another uh, sauropod, or do you guys want something else? Uh, got some packies already. We have some Edmonton sources. I guess we can put some parasaurs down. Ah, screw, let's go with parasaurs. We'll do that. So they, they need ground nut. Okay, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll put some ground nut over here, even if there's ground nut somewhere else. Let's do that. All right. Let's just start it right here. Uh, maybe like right there. All right. Oh, I went too far. Damn it. Son of a bitch. You went too far, GB. See, this part is what costs money. What really sucks is I gotta clear this part. Which costs me even more money. Damn it. I think I want kind of a clear clearing like right here. Conveniently for a viewing gallery. Alright. Well, let's do that. And some water. Uh So we got that. I'll put another viewing gallery up. Yeah, that should work. The road. Go ahead and put uh, put a restroom. And a shelter for when the weather goes bad and we have to act like we care about the guests so they don't sue us. Asset transportation complete. All right, let's get another repeater up. Okay, we got that going. 
So let's see how the Paris soars. All right, how many do we need of parasaurs? Okay, so that's above the minimum population. Okay, so that'll be good. All right, so let's go look at the new T-Rex, and we'll name her Gina. All right. There you go. There you go, Yuji. A T-Rex named Gina. <laughs> You know, it's weird. It's like, I find that two T-Rexes usually do pretty well together in this game. Maybe I should have just had two T-Rexes all along. All right, so the steward is just chilling over here. Okay. I guess I can... That doesn't look right, so let me fix that. I'll give him a little bit more. God, it's so expensive. Ow. That hurts. All right. So this should be enough for the Parasaurus. And anything else that likes ground nut. Um, okay. They're ready for transport. All right. So we're going to airlift them over here. All right. Asset to be collected. Asset collection request received. There we go. Might as well just put them in their territory, you know, even if they don't stay there. What are my raptors up to? Alright, there's Crux too. Just just vibing. Yep. Alright. Well, your, your friend over here is just chilling. Uh, and then Kane's just like, oh, I don't want to be in my territory anyways. Wow. Transit has commenced. Okay. So I got that. I guess I need to build this up. Uh, so I still want to get a viewing gallery on the uh, gig. I wish there was more like small maps because there's only like one small map and there's a few medium maps. But sometimes I feel like these large maps are too large. I guess that's not exactly a bad thing. All right, we're gonna wait on this one. What else? What else likes ground nuts? Let's first think about something that likes parasaurs. What is it like? Parasaurs like myosaur. Okay, this mice. A mysore or a seropod, okay. Alright. So we need something else that likes ground nuts. Right, that, li that likes ground fruit, okay. Ground leaf and ground fiber. Alright. Okay, where's the mysore? All right, so this one, okay, this one might work with with uh, the Parasaur. All right. They're not the prettiest thing, but yeah, it'll work. That way we can get more compatible dinosaurs over in that area. Right, what's the... Oh, I got to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Didn't I already release some or no? So it says small, like a small app. No! Oh, I fudged it. I hate it when I do that. I just wasted money. Shit. Because <sighs> I need it with a small appetite. Like, how small of an appetite does it have to be? Okay, well, so I, I'm, I'm maxing this one out on modifications because uh, that was part of the uh, contract. Okay. 
So what are these in need? Alright. I just wasted some money. So this likes ground fruit. So... I think there's ground fruit over here. They can get over here. They can walk. That's how I feel. You can walk. Alright, we'll, we'll uh, transport the myosaurs, though. Try and build up some appeal over here. There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to release the other ones. And oh, Small appetite. Well, I did lower their appetite, so... Commencing asset transit. Hopefully this counts! They can go find ground fruit. Okay. You All right. dealt with that last objective like a true professional. I could have got the bonus too. I just forgot about it. I was like, ah, shit! I forgot about the bonus. All right. So they'll be fine. Okay. Let me set the game real quick. All right. So what should we add next? We'll probably play for another 20 minutes and we'll call it a day. So we got these parasaurs. Eh, they got everything they need. They just need a few more. Alright, so they should be good. Alright. So that's building up interest over here. Oh no, we may continue this park in a future stream. What do y'all think? Because we're far from finished with this one. I would like to keep building this one. It's interesting. Uh. All right, so I'll probably put some more amenities past this point, but not right now. Asset being transported. All right. Uh, oh, you want? Oh, Elvis after Lost World. Okay, I can name one Elvis. Yeah. Let's name the Alpha. Uh, all right, we'll name you Elvis. All right, any other random names for dinosaurs? All right, there's Elvis. Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So where my raptors go? There's Crux. Boy, this one's become best friends with the ACR. Like, what is up with that? Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Asset has been transported. I, I think the raptor wants to be best friends, but Kane's like, no, fuck off. But the raptor's like, but I want to be friends. Asset has been collected. Come on, let's be friends. And Kane's like, nah, I don't need any friends. Uh, which vehicle's under attack? Why Why are you starving, Belfast? You're f fine. I'll, I'm going to go the lazy route and give you a... There. There you go. You're lazy, bum. Uh, I don't think Do Dr. Grant doesn't have an ex-wife, though. Like, what are you talking about? Dr. Grant doesn't have... I don't think Dr. Grant's ever been married. I think he's too much of an alpha male for that. He's like, I don't have time for that. I got, I got dinosaur bones to dig up. All right, so Gina's doing okay. She's fine. Okay. And Stuart's being Stuart with his fish. How's our, how's our brontosaurus? Well, you know, I'm going to name this. Uh, like, if you guys get the reference, I'm naming this one Babe. Is it Babe or Baby? But what was the dinosaur movie back in the day, long before Jurassic Park? I think it was called Baby or Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. Yeah, it was, it was just Babe. Okay. So that's why I'm naming this one Babe. 
Because Bay was a Brontosaurus, which is now a Patasaurus. Okay. It's a classic. So this one gets to be Babe. There. No, it's not named after Babe Ruth. Yeah. See, that was a good movie. I remember that movie when I was a kid. That's how old I am. Land Before Time. Um, I mean, I could name it Little. I could have named it Littlefoot, a uh, Helix Ghost, but I, I named it Babe instead because of Babe, Secret of the Lost Legend. Because I watched Secret of the Lost Legend before I watched Land Before Time, which I watched before Jurassic Park. <laughs> Okay, good. we got Elvis right here. So there's Elvis. Yeah, but Littlefoot was the Brontosaurus, which is the uh, Apatosaurus now. But Babe had two parents, though, right? Babe had like a mother and a father. Still a good movie. I think it was a good movie. Maybe that's just nostalgia kicking in. I haven't seen that movie in a quick minute. Alright. I guess we can make some of these little bastards. These are, believe it or not, this particular scavenger is like the ancestor of T-Rexes. Like, like millions of years before T-Rexes became a thing, like, these guys were their long, distant ancestors, apparently. There. Sad movie, you watch it as an adult, it hits you in a different way. Okay. W which one, Land Before Time or, or Secret of the Lost Legend? There. By the way, Helix, would you like a dinosaur named after you? Is there any particular dinosaur that you had in mind besides uh, T-Rex? Well, the, a few of them are already named, so you got to kind of pick a species that no one has uh, claimed yet. So, yeah, like this is, these are ancestors of T-Rexes, these little guys. Oh, Land Before Time? Yeah, Land Before Time was really good. I just added them because I needed to add something. Okay, so. All right, the Parasaurs are doing pretty good. How are the Myasaurs doing? Okay, the Minosaurs are good. Okay, so yeah, they're compatible. They get along. All right. I know they had some other Lambert Four Time movies. I don't think I ever watched the sequels. They probably weren't as good. So Kane's over here. Here's Kane. All right. All right. So we'll go on for maybe another fifteen minutes, and I gotta I gotta wrap up because Riley and I've got somewhere to go. Today is our three year anniversary. Oh, yeah, the, the original Lost World movie. Yeah, that, that was good. I mean, for its time, it was good. I'm trying to think. What else do we want in the park? I feel like we have enough big carnivores because we have a Spinosaurus, a T-Rex, an ACR, and we also have a gig. Anyone want to be a big bird? Maybe I'll just put a big bird in the park and call it Big Bird. These things are not very nice. Yeah, if nobody claims Big Bird, I'm going to I'm going to name it Big Bird. Say happy anniversary. Thank you very much, Bounty. Yeah, I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan too. I've been a fan since the books. Land Before Time had some reasonable, well-made sequels. Oh, yeah, I never watched the sequels. And I'm not really the biggest fan of musicals. All right. Let's just add... Uh, thank you, Helix. Big Bird, we call him Pino. Well, we call him Big Bird. And uh, our country's bigger than yours, so we win. <laughs> Plus, Big Bird came from America, okay? You can call him Pino all you want. He's still Big Bird, damn it. I didn't even know he had a different name in another country. He's 
He's big bird. I'm just going to release him right here and see what happens. Why not? Here comes Big Bird. I should have, you know what, I should have tried to make him yellow. In hindsight, I should have tried to make him yellow. I know I probably couldn't have made him completely yellow, but. Anyway, Big Bird. There's Big Bird. Now this thing will scare you into learning your ABCs and one, two, threes. Plus, it, the reason why I released it right here is because it also likes ground leaf, which co so conveniently is right here. So we got Big Bird. All right, let me save the game real quick. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, I know Sesame Street's localized, but Sesame Street originated in America, so Big Bird is the winner. That is a mean bird, though. All right, so anything else? All right, so... Stuart. Stuart, you're nowhere near the water. What are you doing, Stuart? All right, another check on Belfast. Well, Belfast is being Belfast. Oh, yeah, I've got to connect this. I at least want to do that before we wrap up. I just feel like a lot of these outposts are just broadcasting to the trees right now. But the goal is long term. I mean, we'll do a future stream. We'll probably continue building this park. All right. I thought you said Barney Jr., Tommy. Like you have to, you have to pick a name, Tommy. I know we've had that conversation before, but for dinosaurs as well. You have to also pick a species that's not a T-Rex because we already have a T-Rex. We had another T-Rex, but it died, sadly. So uh, what species you got in mind, Tommy? Let me know. All right. Uh, I guess I can put it right here. Whatever, I'll just, I'm just going to do this real quick. Right now, these are kind of going... Okay, now I think I can connect this one. All right, so we're just going to connect this one uh, to that one. Eventually, we'll have more. You already have... A, you already have a, we already have Velociraptors. You have to pick something else. I mean, we have Pyroraptors. We have Atrociraptors. You can be an oviraptor, which are the little chickens, but the uh, velociraptors were already claimed. So sorry. All right, so let me show you what's claimed already. All right. So velociraptors is already claimed by Icarus. So you can either pick a trociraptor or you can pick a pyroraptor. Or you can be a chicken. The chickens haven't been claimed yet, the oviraptors. But they're just little things. So what would you rather have? Would you rather have an Atrociraptor? Or would you rather have a Pyroraptor? Let me know which one would you rather have. Uh, I'll let you have one. But only one. So you get to pick. Decide 2024. That will probably be the last thing we do today. Is decide which Raptor Tommy Angelo gets to name Barney Jr. You want the Atrociraptor? Okay. Uh, yeah, we can do a Crichton source, obviously named after um, Michael Crichton, who wrote the Jurassic movies. All right, so Atrociraptors is the winner. Winner, winner. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I should have done that. You know what? We're gonna just leave it. We're gonna leave the colors up to random. It's all random. All right, that's a uh, Crichton source. Okay. Let's find the Crichton. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what is it compatible with? It's not compatible with ankylosaurs. So, any t this thing is so freaking needy, though. It's just like you, Snake. This thing we should have named one of these after you, because you're needy, and a, a Crichton is clearly needy. 
It needs ground fruit, ground leaf, and ground nut. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. No, no, no. You already had a, you already got a Gallimimus. We're not. No, nah, we're good. It's it's too freaking needy. All right, how many how many how many do these require? All right, minimum of two. Okay, so I guess we'll pick the best two. All right, aggressive and tolerant. Okay. Are any of these purple? No. Damn it. Uh, there we go with this one, Pan Panthera. So this is aggressive, aggressive. Fit. I guess we'll go with those two. Typical snake, always want more. I know, right? Yeah, I guess we'll do those two. Yeah, we'll do that one and that one. And maybe we'll name this one Barney. Barney Jr. Because why not? But I'm going to need an area for it. I guess I can put it. Frack, I'm, uh, damn it. Here's the problem. I'm kind of running out of space. You know what? I'm just going to dump it over here. I'll dump it over here and hope for the best. It's too close to the Velociraptors, though. Urgh. Fuck. If I put it over here, it'll be too close to the Spinosaurus. But maybe the Spinosaurus will leave it alone. Let's, let's experiment, shall we? For science! Alright. And we'll put a, put a goat feeder right here. And we'll also put like a regular feeder, like maybe like right there. We'll just put the Atrociraptors over here for now. We'll hope for the best. Name one Barney Jr., then we'll call it a day. And we'll come back to this another day. We'll just continue working on this park, I guess. What do y'all think? Alright, we do need a... Uh, Viewing gallery on this side. Yeah, this one's going to be a little tricky because it, its neighbor isn't very friendly. So we'll see how this plays out for the Atrociraptors. It may not end well. Uh, there we go. Oh, we gotta put a. Uh, oh shit. Uh, the Spinosaurus is already coming over. Stuart, go back to your side of the map. <laughs> Damn it, Stuart. For now, until the Spinosaurus kill it. I couldn't find a better spot to put it, though. I'm running out. I'm, see, this is the problem. Eventually, it gets to the point where, where I'm trying to space out the carnivores. Even though, technically, a Spinosaurus is not a carnivore. This is not good. Um, well, it's not Mr. Trex. It's Mr. Spinosaurus that's going to be sending regards. Yeah, th th we may be in for a little fight before the end of the stream, which some of you are probably excited about. We love a good fight. Ah, come on. Okay. Get these repeaters up. There. Yeah, just just go back to Stuart Lake, please. <sighs> Hope it barrel rolls. Well, we'll see. All right. 
Well, we are starting to make some profit, so that's a positive. We're not... Hey, we didn't end this bankrupt, so that's... That's good. But, you know, overall, not bad. We got some biomes. Pretty crowded over here. So, we got them, we got them, and all the way up here, we got the uh, Patasaurus. And we got the T-Rex up here, minding its own business, and wrecking Jeeps. Okay. Okay. This is how I see this going down. I'm not bothering with Ren. about this objective, then you complete it. Which means that as of this moment, my part is done. Uh, thanks, not Chris Pratt. Alright, there's Kane. Alright, so there's Kane. Kane's just minding his own business. Alright, let's go see what, uh, Belfast is up to. Alright, so there's, there's Belfast. I swear. These carnivores have a mind of their own. Alright. Stuart! Stuart, there's no fish over here, Stuart! Alright, let's look at these two Atrociraptors. Okay, there's one of the Atrociraptors. And... I guess we'll name this one Barney Jr. Alright, I'm gonna name this one Barney Jr. There. There you go. There you go, Stuart. I mean, Bar uh, Tommy Angelo Jr. Uh, this may not go so well. Yeah, I would like to be able to add pterodons, but it takes... Like, I can build an Avery and I can put them in the Avery, but then it's a pain in the ass to get them out of the Avery. And I'd rather the pterodons and the pterosaurs fly free. Maybe that'll be a, a... That could be like a quality of life fix they do down the road. Even though supposedly uh, Frontier is almost, I guess, done with live service for this game. I guess the Spinosaurus just wants to hang out. Chill with the Atrociraptors. I, I don't know. Maybe Stuart was lonely. I, I, we'll see how this plays out next time, I guess. Whenever next time is. Alright, let's uh, save the game. Well, I think that's a good stopping point for today. But I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. For a little build and chill. And uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. It's a little game I like playing on the side just for fun. Been kind of obsessed with it over the past few months. I've built so many freaking parks. So many, it's crazy. Some nice parks, some not so nice parks. I've kind of experimented and dabbled a little bit. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. But we will, we will continue to do... Uh, future build and chill streams here and there whenever we got nothing else going on but uh, tomorrow we're going to be uh, playing Red Dead Online poker that's right we're going to do some p -p -p poker tomorrow Red Dead Online by request a couple people have requested another poker stream and to be fair it's been a few months since we did the last poker stream so that's happening tomorrow 12 p.m. Central 6 p.m. UK on Sunday and then next week we're going to have uh some more Sea of Thieves, Early Access, I believe starting Thursday. I think that's when Early Access begins on April 25th, so look for quite a few uh, Sea of Thieves streams going forward on the channel. My channel, Kane's channel, a few other channels as well. But we'll continue to you know, stream GTA here and there. I just didn't feel like GTA today, to be honest. I wasn't in a GTA mood. But we'll do some Red Dead tomorrow. We'll Red Dead Online Poker. Basically another chill stream, but I should have some company. Kane should be here. UG should be here. Red should be here. And whoever else joins us for a little poker tomorrow on Reddit Online. Hopefully we'll have a good time tomorrow. Yeah, these are pretty good chill streams. Like, this is a chill game. I mean, it's just fun just to build a park. Especially with you guys interacting and, like, coming up with names for dinosaurs and names for hotels and telling me dinosaur species you want added to the park. We'll continue to build up Darland, San Diego. So I think we'll continue building this park uh, in the next installment. I don't know. Maybe in a couple weeks from now. What do y'all think? Maybe like two weeks from now? Because next weekend I'm going to focus on Sea of Thieves. 
I mean, there might be a ton of Sea of Thieves. There might be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I may go crazy next weekend. Like, just, you know, rework my schedule so I can play a, a little bit of Sea of Thieves. We'll see. But, yeah. Definitely going to have more Jurassic World Evolution 2 chill and build or you know, build and chill streams coming up down the road. And join us tomorrow for Red Dead Online Poker. 12 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. UK. If you enjoyed uh, today's uh, stream of Jurassic World Evolution 2 and you want more build and chill streams going forward as we continue to build Darland San Diego. By the way, Dar, D-A-R, it's a joke. It's, a, it's, a, it's an in-channel joke, right? Dinosaurs are real. Some of you get the reference. Some of you don't. But it's something I, 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 used, to, I used to sing uh, to the Jurassic Park theme, Dinosaurs are real. I'm not drunk right now. I haven't drank in years, and I'm not going to sing it to you. I would not want to torture you at the end. But the, the point is, I, I have a, uh, my own little silly song to go with the Jurassic Park theme. Dra like, dinosaurs are real. Just keep repeating it with the theme in the background. <laughs> and so from that, D-A-R, dinosaurs are real. Darland, as in, and this is Darland, San Diego, in case anybody was wondering. But yeah, okay, time for me to go. I got to get ready. Uh, Riley and I have got uh, a little thing we got to do to celebrate our third year anniversary, by the way. Thanks, everybody that uh wished us a uh, happy three years riley and me and she might be doing a stream this weekend as well i know it's been a few weeks or months or centuries but i think riley is planning a stream tonight or tomorrow night i think it's gonna be Fortnite over on her channel uh hi brian bye brian and uh bye everybody uh i will catch y'all next time and obviously hopefully tomorrow for red dead online poker sunday 12 p.m central and 6 p.m. UK. If you want more Jurassic World Evolution 2 chill and build streams, be sure and leave a like. And uh, other content, we do GTA, Red Dead, Mafia, Sea of Thieves. Got plenty of Sea of Thieves coming up in uh, the weeks and months ahead probably. And thank you, Brian, for the three-year anniversary. Well wishes. Very much appreciated. So, yeah, if you like the content and the videos. Oh, by the way, I'm probably going to do a Fallout TV show review review Monday, maybe Monday. That will be early access for the members, so that's coming up on Monday. Uh, content, streams, if you like it, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Ring, ding the bell to be notified about future streams and content. And uh, check out other friends' channels. Check out Riley's channel. Check out Snake's channel. Check out UG Outlaw's channel. Check out Bounty Hunter's channel. Check out the Vlogs channel Riley and I do together once a month. And uh, all the other awesome channels in the featured channels section. A big thank you, as always, to all my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes for April 2024, and all the members. By the way, if you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. Unique badges, emojis, all members get shouted out at the beginning of live streams, included below in the description section of live streams. Early access to one video a week. Probably my uh, Fallout TV review video, maybe on Monday or Tuesday. I'm going for Monday, but we'll see what happens. You also get, uh, what else you get? You get featured in the About section with the uh, links to the uh, Discord, to the Vlogs channel, and, of course, the live stream schedule also in the About section. So you all have a great weekend, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow for Red Dead Online Poker. And... Hopefully more Jurassic World Evolution 2 somewhere down the road. Till then, from the bottom of my heart, from me to you and you and you and you and you. Dinosaurs are real. And as always, thanks for watching.